Welcome to another SystemControl.com tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to utilize jQuery to fade in objects. So to get started, we need to go ahead and we need to make our HTML page structure. Um, you should already have an understanding on how to do that before you start this tutorial, but if not, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through it anyway. Go ahead and get started. We're going to put in our doc type. and we're going to have our head and we're going to have our body and we're going to end our HTML okay so once you're here we need to head over to Google and find a already hosted jQuery so to do that we're going to open up Google I'm going to type in jQuery hosted Google and it should be the first one that comes up now from here you should see jQuery on the right side if not just press control F on your keyboard if you're on a Windows and look up jQuery and there it is and we're gonna copy the snippet and we're gonna take that snippet and input it into our head section of our HTML document. Let's go ahead and correct that and put HTTP. For some reason, uh, when you have the forward slashes there, it doesn't actually call the script correctly uh, with uh, using WAMP on a Windows. Uh, so go ahead and change that. Now for the easy part, believe it or not. We're going to go ahead and set up a style sheet. So we're going to do that within our head section. So between head and head we're going to type style and we're going to close the style and we're going to give an ID so an ID starts with a, a hash sign and we're going to name it we'll go ahead and name it um, we'll name it object and there's our ID and we're going to say display none because we don't want it to display yet we want it to fade in so it can't be displayed before it's faded in and we're gonna have a background color and let's do uh, the hex color for red and then from here we'll set uh, a width and a height so the width will be 400 and the height will be 20 pixels so now we need within our body to call the object ID so ID object and we can say um, some text and we'll go ahead and close that div so now that we have set up our overall HTML structure with our CSS and now we're calling uh, the jQuery library we're gonna go ahead and now do some JavaScript to go ahead and call uh, the individual functions that jQuery provides for the fade-ins so what we do from here is we write script and that's outside the style if you see that it could be above or below it doesn't matter either way and go ahead and in script if I can spell it right and then we're gonna make a function and we'll say function and we call it whatever we want um, what we'll do is we'll call it um, show underscore object now from here we need to call that ID which is called object so it's a dollar sign then parentheses and then we have quotations now within the quotations we're gonna have a hash sign not a pound sign uh, unlike my other videos I'd call it a pound sign it's actually a hash sign for some reason it's stuck in my head as a pound sign but it's a hash sign and then we have the object and the reason why it's a hash sign is because it needs to follow uh, it as an ID and not a class so we'll s spell it the same object and then after the last uh, the closing parentheses we're going to put a, a dot and then we're going to say fade and then uh, uppercase I in so fade in with the uppercase I and then another parentheses then we're going to go ahead and end it with a semicolon so within the, f the fade in we're going to put the number of seconds uh, will be the milliseconds for it to fade in 
so a thousand milliseconds would be one second so we're gonna put six thousand so that'd be six seconds and for this to actually happen we need to call this function so if we were to check this now if I were to save this and open up my browser and load it the page nothing's gonna actually happen and the reason is is because the functions not actually called yet and to do that you can either do a uh, on page load or you can just call the function here but let's go ahead and do on page load so on load equals and then we're gonna put the function name so show underscore object and then the parentheses and end it with a semicolon so it's uh, body space and then uh, with out of space on load equals show underscore object parentheses semicolon and uh, once we have that, now what's going to happen is once the page is loaded, it's going to call sh call this function and it's going to run this. So then it runs whatever's in between this brace and this brace. So I'm going to go ahead and save it and see what it does. And there's the fade in with the actual text. If I were to refresh it, do the same thing. And then you can change the interval uh, of the fade. Um, it's pretty slow at six seconds, so we could do let's say one second, which would be a thousand, and it's, it's six or five times faster. Okay, so if you have any questions, go ahead and shoot me a comment, and I'll help out as best as possible. And I'll do some other jQuery tutorials on how we can get a little bit more in depth and advanced with these um, quick snippets of code using jQuery's. Uh, library which is an awesome tool to go ahead and make a cross browser friendly um, uh, JavaScript alright so until next time